Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome to Price and Teach Task Automation Tutorial. So this is our lesson 16 in terms of advanced training. And this is our lesson 31 in terms of overall automation tutorial. So in this lesson, I'm going to teach you how can we take screenshot automatically whenever there is a failure in your test case by using Tosca and I'm also going to teach you how can we take screenshot on demand whenever it is required by using Tricentis Tosca. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon to receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. So without delay, let us jump out of the system and start working on Tricentis Tosca Automation 2. So this is my Tricentis Tosca. What I'm going to do, I'm going to create one new folder called Screenshot. Okay. And now let us start working on this folder. I'll create one new test case called Login Failure. So as usual, we are going to start working on, we are going to automate a simple login logout functionality by using our Tricentis Tosca sample web application which is demo web shop okay here what I'm gonna do I'm, I want to click on login link provide username password and click on login button and then just log out from the session so let us automate that simply control T which brings us the modules that you would like to add add test either control T or you can simply right click and click on add test here I want to call top menu because top menu will be having all the options that you would like to click on so here I want to click on login right so before you click on login first you need to open your URL right so for that, let us call a standard module. Control T, standard module called open URL. Okay, this is my standard module. And bring this to the first step. This is my first step. Provide the URL here. Once you open the URL, I'm clicking on login. Once I click on login, I need to provide credentials. For this, Simply call on login page. So this is my login page. So here I need to provide my username, which is my email ID, and I have to provide my password and then click on login button. Right? As soon as you click on login button, then you're going to click on logout button. So what I'm going to do, control T, again, top menu. And here, this time, I'm going to click logout. Okay. And now, we are going to close the browser. Again, it is standard module called close browser. So this is my standard module. So here, what is the browser name? It is demo star. Okay. So now we have completed automating our login logout functionality. So here, before I run, so first of all, I have provided my password as a wrong password. Now let us run this and see what happens. Okay. Simply run this in Scratchbook. So it opens your URL, right? And then it clicks on login link. And then it is going to enter your username, password, and click on login. Now, because we provided a wrong password, it throws an error. Now it is trying to identify logout link, but it will not be able to identify. Tosca will not be able to identify. That's why the test case is going to fail. 
So your test case is failed because could not find the link logout. Okay, fine. So now let's assume I want to take a screenshot whenever there is a login. So as soon as I enter my URL, let us enter the URL. As soon as I click on login, I want to take a screenshot of login page. Let's say I want to take a screenshot of each page as soon as I land it. Right? So how can we do that? For that, let us simply insert a step and call take screenshot. Tbox create take screenshot, which is a standard module which comes along with your Tricent task. Call this take screenshot standard module and here you can specify the environment. Either you want to specify it as a desktop or mobile. We are executing on desktop. That's why I want to select as desktop. And what is the directory that you want to store? I want to store the screenshot in this directory. This is my directory. What I did is actually I just simply created one empty folder called screenshot. Okay. So I want to store the screenshot in this directory. Simply go here and provide the path. And now, what is the file name that you want to keep? I want to keep the file name as screenshot. Screenshot. And here, okay, I'll do one thing. Screenshot. Let's name this as screenshot. So if I run this, it's going to store the screenshot. Let's bring this. I want to put this immediately after login, clicking on login. So I clicked on login here and I want to place here. As soon as you click on login, I want to take a screenshot. But now, if you see the file name is hard coded, I don't want to use the file name, hard coded file name. I want to insert the date function, date time. See, you have a date time. Curly braces open, open curly braces, date time, close curly braces. What it will do, it's going to create the file with screenshot space, it gives you the date and timestamp to the file. So now let us simply run this now. Okay. Run this in your. Okay, right click and run in Scratch Bank. So now we'll see it's going to run. Click on login. As soon as you click on login, it should take a screenshot. Yes, now it should take a screenshot and perform other actions. Okay. So we are not taking screenshot on failure. But anyway, so we are taking a screenshot on demand screenshot. I want a screenshot and so and so step. I just inserted a screenshot. Okay. If you see here, if you go back to your test results, here, your screenshot is successful. The screenshot was successfully created. Where? These are the details. This is where the screenshot should store. So let us go to that path. So if you go to this path, see, you have a screenshot as soon as you click on login. See, this is your screenshot. So let's close this now. So I want to take screenshot whenever there is a failure in test case. How can we do that? So now we understand how can you take screenshot on demand. But now I want to take a screenshot whenever there is a failure in test case. I don't know when, but whenever there is a failure, I want to take a screenshot. How can we achieve that? So for that, you need to go to settings, go to projects, go to settings. And in settings, you need to go to T-Box. So it is just loading all the settings. So you need to expand T-Box and under logging, you have a folder called screenshots. Here, you need to enable make screenshot on failed test steps. You can select off, till now it is off either detection failure or verification failure. I want to take a screenshot whenever there is a verification failure. Okay, that's why I'm going to select the as verification failure. And screenshot directly. If you see my 
environment is c colon c colon forward slash task of setup task of commander it's a default screenshot path you can change this particular path you can provide your path whatever you want but i want to keep it as default and here you can select the screenshot format the screenshot should be stored in jpeg png bitmap or gif whatever i want to save the screenshot in jpeg okay so i'm going to leave that as it is and then close it now now let us run our test case again now okay let us run the test case so it opened your website now this time it is going to take a screenshot on demand whatever we inserted first and whenever test case is failed it automatically takes a screenshot so now we want to see now so it, the test case is failed as soon as you click on login now let us see the results so if you see here this is our earlier screenshot that we introduced and if you see here logout see this logout so basically it could not find out the logout and you can see here details system drawing bitmap so basically there is some bitmap that has been taken by your tricentis task how can you see that so we cannot see in scratch book you need to execute the test case in execution list to see the screenshot so let us go to your execution list let us create a quick execution list screenshot and let me simply pull this and drop it into the execution list now i want to execute this particular execution list let us run this now let me close this right click and run okay so now it clicks on login enters yes now it should take your screenshot on failure one step is failed so there your screenshot will be shown let us simply bring this here okay here and let us expand your execution results here if you see our first screenshot is this which is your as soon as you click on login correct and now your second screenshot is this when your test case it is unable to click on logout and you should see the error message see here i can see the error message why it is failed because my login is not success that's why it is not able to find out logout right so you can see both the screenshots and this screenshot is saved in your local machine also so whenever there is a failure tosca will take screenshot automatically and here in this step we are instructing tosca to take a screenshot on demand correct so these are the two ways you can take the screenshots by using tricentis tosca so if you have any queries leave your queries in the comment box i'll try to respond to your queries so oh, you all understand the concept of taking screenshot in two different methods by using tricentis tosca please do subscribe to the channel click on bell icon you will receive notifications whenever i publish more videos thank you